Okay. I, I uh, just like to share a few things and, and hopefully stimulate some thought as well in you. And, and the first little thing, I, I like to tell you a story, a little story, a uh, uh, true story, actually, about a guy who loved the game of golf, right? Uh, he was an avid golfer, loved the game of golf, and favorite thing to do was golf. And he was an amateur, you know, wasn't a pro, and he, he went out and played with his uh, with a, a foursome of guys. It was three other buddies he played with quite regularly, and he was the best of the foursome, except when it came to competition, right? They had a local course championship every year, and he just could not, anytime he got in the competitive atmosphere, like JP was talking about, he just could not handle the pressure of competition, right? And so each year he entered his local course championship, and he'd be out on the practice tee, and he'd just groove everything, everything. He'd just be grooving everything, right? But whenever he got out into the real competition, once he stepped out on the first tee and began to compete, everything would fall apart, right? Well, one year he took a couple of weeks off of work just to prepare for this. I mean, he took this thing seriously, right? This is really important to him. And he says, you know, I can play golf all year long, right? I'm, I'm not great, but I'm a good golfer, right? But I can't, you know, get it together when I get in this local course championship. So he said, I'm going to take some time off work, which he did. And he prepared. And, and when the day came for the local course championship, his, all, all of his buddies rolled down together, right? And, and they, was, they, were, they were really encouraging, right? Because usually they compete against one, but they really felt sorry for him because he was just awful when it came to competition, right? And this day, as he walked out on the practice tee, right, and he started to hit, he, first when he hooked, then he'd slice. Even on the practice tee, everything, he had taken time off work, yet everything had gone afoul, right? But you know, as he stood out over the first tee, everything felt like it's supposed to, right? And as he round back, he had the sweetest swing of his life. Just beautiful. Everything had reversed. In practice, he was awful, right? When he got out on the course, everything worked right. So much so that at the end of the first day, he was in second place, right? And, and, and he was overwhelmed. He went on, he told his wife, say, honey, 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 you won't believe what happened today. Right? Say, yeah, you fouled up again, didn't you, right? <laughs> she, he says, no, no. He says, I played the best golf of my life, and I'm in second place. You mean you're second out of the four? No, no, no. I'm second in the whole championship, right? <laughs> well, it went on, and, and uh, uh, finally he got her to believe the story, and, and uh, he, as he w tried to sleep that night, just a, a, an overwhelming amount of anxiety, and uh, wasn't able to, to sleep at all, and as he got out over the practice tee again, everything was going to foul again. He'd hook, and, and then he'd overcompensate, and so he'd slice, and, and just everything was awful. But as he got out over the first tee again, everything felt like it was supposed to, right? So much so that through this whole competition, he actually ended up winning. He was the local club pro for his local club and, and uh, just had the best, played the best golf of his life and, and just a wonderful, wonderful story. And, and they had cameras coming up and he got a trophy and a check and, and, and he was just awestruck with the whole thing. And, and afterwards, after all the cameras and the local media and everything sort of dissipated, a lady walked up and approached him. She said, sir, you're the guy out there that had that sweet swing, aren't you? He's like, hey, yeah, that's me, right? She said, you're, you're the local club pro, right? The champion, right? Say, hey, yeah, that's me, right? He started to feel a little bit confident. But this, this must be what it's like, you know, when, well, when you're the man, right? <laughs> well, this is a true story. The lady went on to explain that she um, had a sick young boy who she couldn't provide medical care for, right? And without thinking about it, without saying a word, this man signed his entire check he had just won over to the lady with the sick young boy, right? 
phenomenal story. And later on, he was back at his, his local course, and, and uh, things were a little bit different now. He played with confidence, and his game had really improved because the confidence he had gained uh, by winning the championship the weekend before. Uh, and as he got into the clubhouse afterwards, um, people, you, you can sort of tell when people are talking about you, and, and people were starting to say things. And, and, and uh, you know, he couldn't, didn't know exactly what was going on, but he said this, it really was, it was sort of foreign to him because he wasn't an arrogant type guy, right? But as he went to the bar to get a drink, one of the guys approached him and congratulated him about winning the local course championship. And he thanked him and, and he says, but he said, I heard you did something afterwards. I heard that you signed your entire check over to a lady with a sick young boy. He said, yeah, I did, but it, it was no big deal. He said, yes, it was a big deal. And no, everybody wouldn't have done it. And, and I'll tell you why it was such a big deal. You see, the lady who said she had the sick young boy didn't have a sick young boy at all. It was all a scam. He said, what are you saying? He said, are you saying that, that there was no sick young boy at all? He said, yeah, there was no sick young boy at all. He says, you know, he says, that's the best news I've heard all day. Isn't that a unique way of thinking? Right. That's what we want to do for the next few minutes is, is talk about organizing our thought, right, in a way that will allow us to be successful, right? Having unique thoughts.